Do you know what foods help repair kidneys? If you have kidney disease or someone close to you does, it's important to understand how diet and nutrition can improve your health. Eating the right foods can help your body repair itself and even reduce symptoms of kidney damage. And I'm going to talk about specific foods in this video that can help repair your kidneys. So stay tuned. I'm going to discuss the power of nutrition and kidney health and provide tips for creating your CKD diet plan. I'm going to cover everything from which foods are high in antioxidants to why omega-3 fatty acids are essential for kidney repair. So let's get started on a kidney-friendly eating plan that works best for you. Are you tired of struggling with your health? If you're someone living with chronic kidney disease, I've got great news for you. Hello, I'm Mathia Ford, a registered dietitian nutritionist specializing in chronic kidney disease and owner of renaldiethq.com. I specialize in helping people just like you improve their health by making simple yet delicious changes to your meals. Together, we can transform your eating habits, boost your overall well being, and ensure that you're enjoying every bite along the way. Say goodbye to bland and boring meals and say hello to a healthier, more vibrant life. So let's get started on this incredible journey to build better health together. Visit renaldiethq.com today and take a first step towards a healthier lifestyle. Grab your free seven-day meal plan on that website. Eating the right foods for kidney health can be empowering for people with kidney problems. It helps repair their kidneys while providing them with nutrients. Instead of making kidney disease worse, it makes it better. Hydration plays a crucial role in the health of your kidneys and should be monitored closely. Of course, this varies person to person, but when limited to fluids due to kidney damage, adding spices or frozen grapes can help add flavor to meals without compromising nutrition or hydration. A personalized diet plan created by a dietitian, you can get those on my website, can help people living with kidney disease stay nourished while avoiding foods that may worsen their condition. This includes limiting sodium, potassium, phosphorus, and protein intake, depending on your stage of CKD. Kidney-friendly foods like cauliflower, blueberries, sea bass, red grapes, egg whites, garlic, and buckwheat are low in sodium and potassium, but still provide many essential vitamins and minerals you need for the proper functioning of your body. Other helpful additions include olive oil for its healthy fats and vitamin E content, as well as bell peppers, which are high in vitamins A and C. By incorporating these nutrient-rich foods into meals alongside cooked vegetables like cabbage, which contains antioxidants that reduces the risk of obesity or liver damage, people living with chronic kidney disease can easily enjoy delicious meal options while protecting their kidneys from further damage. Another one, sweet potatoes. They're an excellent source of soluble fiber, which helps reduce cholesterol levels, making them beneficial for overall heart health too. Consuming nutrient-rich, low potassium, and low sodium foods can assist in repairing kidney damage. And watching the potassium content in your diet is also important. A number of lifestyle changes are in store for people with kidney disease in combination with medications and a carefully planned diet. This can all help restore kidney function and reduce the factors for kidney disease that might impact your health. I have a chart with some of the common symptoms and issues that I will link to in the description below. Being aware of the signs and symptoms of kidney damage is essential for early detection. Knowing when to have regular checkups and what types of tests are available is also important for monitoring progression or improvement. Commonly used tests include urine and blood tests, imaging studies such as ultrasound or CT scan, or a biopsy if needed. It's also necessary to make lifestyle changes such as following a low sodium diet adapted to your specific needs and exercising regularly, getting adequate sleep, managing your stress levels, and other things that helps to reduce the overall stress that your body is feeling. I did a video about lab tests and other types of common tests that I will link to in the description below. This is in order to boost the body's own healing capabilities. The lifestyle changes and the low sodium diet is in order to boost the body's own healing abilities while slowing down further damage caused by underlying conditions like diabetes or hypertension. All of these elements are part of an effective treatment plan that should be discussed with your healthcare provider. Staying hydrated is key to maintaining healthy kidneys, so make sure you drink plenty of fluids throughout the day. Hydration is especially important for those suffering from kidney disease as inadequate hydration or fluids can worsen your symptoms. Dehydration can lead to an imbalance of electrolytes in your body, resulting in muscle cramps or dizziness or other symptoms. But it's also important to be aware of potential dehydration risks like excessive vomiting and fever. Water helps flush out your toxins from your body through your kidneys while providing necessary minerals and electrolytes. 
Other fluids such as fruit juices or herbal teas may have added sugar or sodium, which could aggravate existing kidney problems. So just be careful with those. For those with diabetes or high blood pressure, low sodium vegetable juices are a good alternative. An individual should adjust their water intake based on their level of physical activity and heat exposure. It is recommended that healthy adults aim for eight glasses of water per day and one glass equals eight ounces. So that's 64 ounces per day. I also want to remind you that proper hydration helps with reducing constipation and helps you to have bowel movements regularly. So kidney disease patients may need extra fluids depending on their doctor's advice. Aim for at least two liters per day unless you've been told to follow a fluid restriction diet by your doctor. Avoid alcohol when possible as it can interfere with medications and increase dehydration risk. Hydrating often will keep your kidneys functioning optimally and prevent further damage down the line. Okay, let's talk about some specifics. Eating high antioxidant foods like berries, apple, and red grapes can help protect the kidneys from further damage and balance minerals and fluids. These superfoods provide an array of health benefits to those with kidney disease and should be included in any meal plan when possible. All of that happens while they're helping to reduce the oxidative stress, which is important, and the inflammation in your body while providing nutrient-rich options for renal repair with its abundance of antioxidant compounds. Okay, here's some specific delicious yet healthy foods you can add to your diet. Apples lower your cholesterol and glucose levels because of the fiber while providing brain health benefits and protecting against cancer and heart disease. Blueberries, they're rich in nutrients and antioxidants. They're low in sodium, potassium, and phosphorus. Fish, high quality protein with omega-3 fatty acids that decrease the risk of abnormal heartbeat and lower blood pressure. Kale, abundant in vitamins and minerals and also beneficial for eye health as well as cancer protection. Spinach is high in vitamins along with folate, which boosts immunity while protecting your vision as well. These powerhouses are packed full of antioxidants that have been linked to reducing symptoms associated with kidney disease, all while boosting overall well-being. In addition to these, fruits, vegetables, legumes, grains, nuts, and seeds can be added into meals or snacks for a nutrient-dense boost that helps rejuvenate the body naturally. Getting your daily dose of vitamin C from citrus fruits is essential for kidney repair and overall health. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant fighting off cell damaging free radicals and helping the body to heal itself. It also helps support a healthy immune system, aids in collagen production, boosts iron absorption, and is involved in hormone synthesis. The best sources of vitamin C are citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, grapefruits, pink or red, and limes or even orange juice. These fruits contain between 30 and 53 milligrams of vitamin C per 100 gram serving size, depending on the specific fruit you choose. Do be cautious of how much grapefruit you eat and when you take your medications. I have a link below to the article about grapefruit and your medications that might help you understand how grapefruit can affect when you take your medications, how much is absorbed. I also want to highlight the fact that citrus fruits can be high in potassium. If you're limited in potassium, make sure you're careful with that but they make an excellent source of dietary vitamin C as the recommended daily intake of vitamin C is 75 milligrams for women and 90 milligrams for men. So eating just one citrus fruit can help you reach your goal. Vitamin C plays an important role in kidney repair by boosting immunity and improving the absorption rate of key minerals. These minerals include calcium, magnesium, copper, zinc, and selenium, all of which are needed by our kidneys to function properly. Eating two to three servings of citrus fruits per day can help promote kidney health. This can be done all while providing plenty of other vitamins such as A and B6, as well as fiber if you're eating the actual fruit to help keep us strong and healthy long-term. Power up your body and give your kidneys some extra love with the protective benefits of cruciferous vegetables like kale, cabbage, and broccoli. Incorporating these veggies into a kidney-friendly diet offers numerous health benefits. Let's explore the science behind how they support kidney health, compare their nutrient profiles, discuss tips for cooking them, and consider creative meal ideas for picky eaters. Cruciferous vegetables are high in vitamins A and C, as well as other antioxidants that defend against cancer and oxidative stress. Kale is rich in vitamins and minerals such as manganese and calcium, which help manage blood sugar levels while reducing the risk of liver damage. Cabbage also contains beneficial prebiotic fibers that protect against obesity while providing anti-inflammatory properties. Broccoli is packed with vitamin K, which helps prevent abnormal heartbeat and maintain strong bones. It's important to limit table salt intake while opting for fresh or frozen options when possible. Chopping or shredding them raw 
will provide crunchiness without adding extra sodium or potassium to meals. Mashing cauliflower can be used as a low carb substitute for mashed potatoes and adding garlic provides an alternative flavor without using excess salt or phosphorus binders. This includes cruciferous vegetables in dishes like stir fries with skinless chicken breast. This offers a delicious way to get protein without too much phosphorus content. Lots of vegetables may not only assist with healing current kidney issues, but could potentially help prevent future problems. I want to highlight something about kale, it's very important if you're going to eat it raw that you remove the hard stem in the middle and then spend three to five minutes just massaging it in your bowl. So put it in the bowl, the salad bowl and rinse it off and then massage it for three to five minutes. It helps it to taste so much better. Consuming omega-3 fatty acids found in fish and flax seeds can help reduce the risk of an abnormal heartbeat and lower your blood pressure. It can do this while providing numerous other health benefits. Omega-3 fatty acids are an essential part of a healthy diet, especially for those with kidney disease. Studies have shown that incorporating foods rich in omega-3 into one's diet can provide several health benefits. Fish, such as salmon and mackerel, are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which help to improve cardiovascular health. Flax seeds are also high in omega-3s and contain antioxidants that may protect against cancer and heart disease. Eating fish two or three times a week is recommended for people with kidney disease because it helps reduce inflammation. Fish provides essential vitamins and minerals like zinc, iron, selenium, potassium, magnesium, and phosphorus. Black seed has been found to be beneficial for improving overall kidney function by decreasing serum creatinine levels. Research suggests that consuming more foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids also boosts the body's ability to fight infections. This is due to its anti-inflammatory properties that can decrease inflammation throughout the body, including the kidneys. These foods have been found to help manage blood sugar levels, which is important if you have diabetes. Diabetes is a major cause of chronic kidney disease when left unmanaged or untreated over time. Eating plenty of fish and flax seeds can support your kidneys by providing them with vital nutrients. These nutrients promote healthy functioning while helping protect them from damage caused by toxins or poor lifestyle choices. Incorporating fiber-rich foods like whole grains, beans, and lentils into your diet can provide an array of health benefits for your kidneys. Whole grains are a great source of essential vitamins and minerals that help keep your kidneys functioning properly, as well as being a great source of fiber. They also contain insoluble fiber, which helps flush out toxins from the body. Legumes like beans, peas, and lentils are packed with plant-based proteins, which can help reduce stress on the kidneys while providing important nutrients like iron and zinc. Eating more fiber-rich foods can also improve the relationship between kidney health and gut health. This is because it helps maintain healthy bacteria levels in the intestines. Whole grain options such as brown rice, oats, barley, quinoa, buckwheat, millet, and bulgur contain beneficial vitamins and minerals that support kidney function. They're also low in potassium and phosphorus, which is ideal for those with kidney disease who need to limit their intake of those two minerals, but they also need to get plenty of dietary fiber. Eating whole grains provides long-term energy without spiking blood sugar levels or raising blood pressure too much both of which are important for people with chronic kidney disease or diabetes. Legumes such as beans, black beans, pinto beans, peas like chickpeas, split peas, yellow split peas, and lentils, red lentils, green lentils, yellow lentils, are all excellent sources of protein without containing high amounts of phosphorus or potassium. This makes them an ideal substitute for animal proteins. Legumes can be incorporated into salads or cooked dishes easily because they have a neutral flavor profile. However, they also add texture to meals, which makes them very versatile when preparing meals at home. Eating legumes regularly will not only provide essential nutrients, but will also promote better digestion. This is thanks to its high fiber content, which may also lead to improved overall well-being. And I want to remind you that staying hydrated, eating plenty of fiber also helps with reducing constipation and helps with keeping you regular. Adding garlic and onion to your meals can provide you with a powerful array of health benefits thanks to the allicin they contain. Allicin is an organic sulfur compound found in garlic and onions, and it's been used for centuries as an antibiotic agent. It helps reduce inflammation, improve digestion, fight infection, boost immune system function, and even aid in kidney repair. Here are some ways that you can incorporate garlic and onion into your diet for the maximum benefit. So the benefits of allicin, studies have shown that consuming garlic or onions on a regular basis can help reduce inflammation and improve cardiovascular health. It also helps improve your cholesterol levels. Allicin has 
antibacterial properties, which can help fight off infections. Due to its anti-inflammatory properties, allicin may be beneficial in reducing the symptoms of chronic kidney disease, such as swelling or fluid retention. It also helps regulate your electrolyte balance, which is important for overall renal health. You can easily add garlic or onions to your meals by adding them into sauces or marinating meats with them prior to cooking. Adding them raw into salads will provide you with the most benefits from their potent allicin content. Try experimenting with different recipes that call for both ingredients like pesto sauce or Italian dressing. Allicin-rich recipes like garlic bread made from freshly minced cloves is a delicious way to get more alliums in your diet while still being able to enjoy something savory. Soups are another great option. Adding chopped onions during the last few minutes of simmering will give it more flavor without overwhelming it with too much oniony taste. Stir fries are also perfect for incorporating both ingredients. Just make sure not to overcook them so they retain their crunchiness. It's important with garlic to add it towards the end so that it doesn't get burnt. Allison supplements, if you don't enjoy eating raw garlic or onion, there are several supplements available on the market that provide concentrated doses of alliums without any unpleasant flavor. Taking these supplements daily may help promote better renal health over time by reducing inflammation throughout the body. Always consult your doctor before you start any new supplements. Garlic and onion have long been used in nat- as natural remedies due to their high concentration of beneficial compounds like allicin, makes them a great addition for anyone looking for improved overall wellness and possibly better kidney repair capabilities. You have the power to make changes that can improve your kidney health. Eating a diet full of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and omega-3 fatty acids can help repair and protect your kidney. It's also important to stay hydrated and limit processed foods, sugary drinks, and high sodium meals. Lifestyle changes like exercising regularly and reducing stress are key for keeping your kidneys healthy. So don't be discouraged if you're diagnosed with kidney disease. It's time to take control of your health by eating nutritious foods and making positive lifestyle changes.